Well, Kian Healy, you're wearing the, uh, the red shirt of the Lions. How do you feel? Um, it's nice. It's nice. It's uh, something I hoped for and then waited for, and now, now sticking it on for coming over to Media Day and all has been pr pretty, pretty good. So, who have you managed to meet up with so far? Who have been the boys around, and, and, and are you getting a sense that, that the team is coming together? Um, yeah, it was good. I had, I had Dylan and Lee beside me there because all the H is getting their bags. So, uh, we were there, and uh, I met Adam Jones and uh, Toby and them, a few lads. It's been, it was, it was all very quick over there because we had to get over here for the media. So uh, it's been kind of a flash in and out, and we'll be back over now shortly. So one of the great things about rugby is that it's a sport where the players are clapping each other off the field at the end of the match and that sort of thing. The camaraderie is is very important to the sport. So how different is it meeting up with players that are now teammates as opposed to maybe you know grabbing a handshake at the end of a Six Nations game? Um, well, everyone respects each other in such a high level, you know. So it's kind of it's it's easy in a sense but then it's going to be tough in a sense of living with them but it is uh, it is great to be able to come in and, and not be eyeing them up at how you're going to go against them and like, to be able to embrace having a chat and, and kind of both looking forward to something. That's excellent and uh, you come over with a few of your Irish colleagues as well uh, will you be tipping off any of the, the Welsh, English and Scots boys as who not to room with from the Irish contingent? <laughs> um, I think we've a decent enough crowd now. Johnny Sexton might be a little bit, a little bit ratty to room with. He, he, uh, he refused to room with me before, so, so we'll see how that goes. Excellent stuff. Well, uh, you've got a couple of big games left with Leinster, of course, in the season: uh, the Amlin Cup final and then the Rabo final. So, uh, I imagine it's a case of, of crossing everything to make sure you can perform as well as you need to, but but also not to pick any up, pick up any injuries. Yeah, well, we we came over last night to get that extra bit of sleep in instead of coming over early this morning and. And you know we're back this evening, so we've training tomorrow, and it's, everything's been kind of led up that the body's getting the right rest, and uh, and preparation is all is all on on form for going into the games, and it's not uh, it's not something you know we were asked that you're going to be looking after yourselves here. It's not something where you can do that. You know your your, your number one job is to do your best for your, your province and club, and. And then on the back of that is where all things like honours like this come from and your country promise. So so we'll be going out now to go full noise for Leinster and hopefully come out of it with two cups, no injuries and getting on a plane. Yes, indeed. And you'll, you'll get on that plane over to Australia. What part of a, of a tour alongside, you know, wanting to get a start in, that, in those test matches, what side of the tour do you also look forward to? Winning it. That's, that's the, the key, you know. The, Everything will be a good memory if you come out of it with a win at the end of it, you know, so uh, that's, that's, that's my mentality anyway and I'd be going over there set, set to rage war on them. Fantastic. We look forward to that, Keir. Thanks for your time. Thanks.